Hello, I'm Concheta Cachatore, the editor of Mining Reporters, the news platform in English of Reporte Minero y Energético. And today we will talk with Joe Brown, which is the president of ABB Process Industries. Welcome, Joe. Thank you. We will be talking today about how is ABB contributing to the development of mining in Chile. So, why is mining so important for the progress of our world and how is ABB making mineral extraction processes more sustainable? I think most people don't realize that mining is basically providing a lot of the material which we need for our everyday lives. And a lot of that material is very difficult, if not impossible, to substitute. So all of the material which goes into um, our electronic gadgets, uh, which we love so much, but also which goes into some of the public infrastructure, um, electric networks, and so on. All of that needs to be mined first before you can put them into use. Uh, and despite the fact that we're also trying to get recycling levels up, uh, I guess we're coming to this in a minute, uh, due to growing demand, uh, there's also a need for, for new material to be mined. ABB has been in the mining industry pretty much ever since we came into existence, so about 130 years we, we have been active in mining. And I think as electrical engineers we now play a crucial role in the decarbonization of the mining industries. A lot of the decarbonization is actually coming through electrification. Um, so our contributions are, are pretty massive in, in this area. But of course we also have a lot of the base components for the mining industry, whether it's mine hoists, whether it's gearless mill drives for the crushers, whether it's conveyor belts, uh, whether it's basically equipment for the processing or um, the mine as such, um, it is numerous offerings with which we have which basically make the mines run more efficiently and, and uh, more profitably. And I have some numbers here. In 2023, mining represented 11.9% of GDP in Chile. Mm -hmm. And in previous years, the percentage has been even higher. Yes. How is ABB contributing to the development of mining in Chile and how does how does it face this dichotomy between sustainability and productivity? Mm -hmm. I mean, ABB has been around here for almost 70 years. So we set up camp, I think, first in 1955 already. So that, that shows how early ABB recognized the importance of, of the mining sector. Uh, the mining industry in Chile is typically um, pioneering a lot of new technologies. Um, Particularly, I mean, I was talking to Kodelka yesterday. I mean, they, they have pretty ambitious plans for their own sustainability program. Uh, Antofagasta Minerals is, is, is basically uh, not less ambitious. Uh, so ABB is, has been a partner to this industry. And now under these new circumstances, we continue to, to be a partner to them. It's, I think it's quite important to notice as well that um, the dichotomy which you mentioned is of course something which, which our ambition is to overcome. Um, we should be sustainable and productive at the same time. And that's pretty much what our customers also tell us. I mean, they, they are very committed for a cleaner um, way of doing mining. Uh, but as you would imagine, they're not too excited about the prospect of becoming less, less productive and, and less efficient. And um, as automation and digitalization engineers, I mean, we, we hope that in the end you can operate maybe even more efficiently than before while, while lowering your environmental footprint. And is Chile maybe a reference for the development of more digital and electric mining in the world? I mean, what do you think uh, uh, that we lack to consolidate ourselves in that position or how could we achieve it? Chile has been typically a front runner in, in the adoption of such technologies. I think that is partially due to the public ownership um, so Chilean mining companies had to think about the greater good um, right from the start and I think that gives them a little bit of a different DNA uh, than, than purely privately held companies. Um, so ABB has put a lot of first and early installations like trolley lines uh, and also now pushing for battery operated trucks in, into Chile. 
Um, so that position is certainly something which I would recommend to hold because that's ultimately where the whole industry is moving. And the Chilean mining industry will get the first mover advantage by adopting such technologies early on. Um, and uh, I mean, we'll probably talk about that as well. I see that there's also a market for minerals surfacing right now, uh, which is demanding renew, uh, uh, which is demanding for sustainably mined minerals. And if you can't keep up um, with this demand, somebody else will. And let's talk now about your, partic your, your, your participation in the Global Energy Transition Congress mm. in Milan. How would you apply to Chile the solutions proposed in that Congress? In, in the Congress, we basically operated on the assumption that in order to reach the climate goals of um, the Paris Agreement and, and its, its successors, we need to triple the renewable energy output and we need to double the efficiency uh, when using energy. And there's, of course, a lot of ways how to achieve this. Um, but when you apply this to Chile, I think Chile is in a very fortunate position when it comes to renewable energy, which is, of course, a humongous challenge to triple the output. Uh, the country is very well suited for aeolian in, um, energy, for, for solar um, and for hydro. And the good thing is that happens in different parts of the country. So there's almost the right region for all of this in, in different parts. And because of the large differences in altitude, um, there's also good potential for energy storage. Um, so Chile, in my view, is, is definitely a very fortunate country when it comes to this. And uh, due to what I mentioned before about some of the customers, I think also on the efficiency side, they're, they're front runners. So I, I see the country very well positioned. Um, and I think it's actually a good example for what we were discussing in, in, in Milan um, about the energy transition. Uh, because a lot of things just fall into place in Chile. I'm thinking in economic benefits. Which are the economic benefits to the transition to green technologies in Chile? What most people also underestimate is a lot of companies, not just the mining companies, have made pretty ambitious commitments to their own sustainability agenda. If you take a car maker, for example, they would look for sustainably mined iron ore. Um, if you take people producing um, electric cars, which have eight times more copper uh, than conventional cars, they will look for sustainably mined copper. Uh, so the whole value chain actually needs to be decarbonized. So the economic benefit for the Chilean mining industry will be to provide renewably, um, well, basically sustainably mined material to all of these industries. I think conventionally mined material will suffer declines in demand. There will be less and less demand for this, um, particularly not with the large users. And so I think it will just become a niche market. And um, I see Chile clearly marching the other way to say, OK, we would like to be at the forefront of bringing this. And that is a huge economic benefit. The other benefit I clearly see is that if you have a critical mass uh, in providing renewable energy, it also helps to build up a competent um, workforce which knows how to operate this sort of an equipment, which basically knows how to make best use of an equipment, and maybe even um, further down the value chain to even manufacture such an equipment. So I think there's numerous economic benefits, and what we should, of course, also mention is the environmental benefits of doing all of that. And our last question, Joe, what role does copper play in this energy transition, both in Chile and in the world? Yeah, copper is a fantastic material. Um, copper has a conductivity which is second to none, so it's very difficult to substitute in the respective applications. And actually, it also makes sure that, that we have the least energy losses in the whole transmission chain. So copper is indispensable and it will be in much higher demand, whether it is um, on the generation side where much more copper is needed, typically in renewable production, particularly in wind. Um, if you compare to a conventional power plant, there's way more copper needed per kilowatt hour, like, like, like in a windmill, for example. In an EV powered car versus a conventional, it's about eight times more copper needed. And these are just a few examples. So, so copper will be um, in very high, high demand. 
The good thing, it can be recycled as well. Uh, but if you look at all of these developments, a lot of new copper will be needed as well. So that's, that's good news for the copper mining industry. Uh, so they have a very bright future ahead of them. Thank you for your time, Joe, and for giving us a landscape of the mining industry and the ABB contribution to the industry in, in Chile. And thank you to our audience for watching us. <laughs>